Dr. Michael Bodden. He's done over 20,000 autopsies during wow. his decades as a forensic pathologist, and the field is still endlessly fascinating to this guy. It's a man who's behind the autopsy of Michael Brown, who's worked on the Eric Garner case, the Amit Bornstein case, consultant on the OJ trial, and did work for the Senate Select Committee on Investigations that was investigating the assassination of President John F. Kennedy. Wow. wow. He's 80 years old and no he's still kidding. going strong. And I was able to talk to him in his Midtown Manhattan apartment last week and wanted to find out what makes him tick. Now, he became one of the country's foremost pr practitioners of an autopsy that answers questions and gives people closure in the deaths of their loved ones. He said, look, my son died. An autopsy was done. They won't tell me what the result was. I can't ask any questions. I'd like to know why my son died. And, all, and they always want to know did he suffer when he died? What does the autopsy tell you? And it's because they were unable to get that information from the powers that be, is they want a second autopsy. So that, and they were told it would be six weeks or so before they get a result. That attitude of caring and transparency directly translated into his autopsy of Michael Brown. He said that when Officer Darren Wilson shot and killed Michael Brown in Ferguson, the family wanted a second look, they wanted a second autopsy and Baden was brought in. When the bullet struck his head, uh, he immediately lost consciousness, and that made them feel a lot better than they were feeling. And I asked him if he thought that his public reveal of the autopsy cooled tensions or stoked them first. No, I think it, first of all, I was asked by the family to, uh, to uh, do a second autopsy for the simple reason they didn't know why their son died. Medical examiners provide a vital service to society, he says, not only in giving answers for families, but they can help find out why a person died and correct wrongs and then can fix those wrongs in the future. And that's especially valuable for institutions like police and jails. How's his apartment? Now, he's making a lot of money doing this, right? What, is he, what do you charge for an autopsy? I, I wasn't ghost enough to ask, but he's got a beautiful. Oh, I asked him. He has a, he's yeah, got a beautiful. Of he's got a beautiful place uh, right next door to the Museum of Modern Art, and uh, very tastefully decorated. Technology's grown and changed the industry. Has there been any case he mentioned in history that he would like to go back and look at now that there's new technology in the field? Well, it's funny. It was a case that was way, way, way before his time that he said in a pretty revealing moment he wants to exhume William Shakespeare to find out if arsenic was the thing that killed Shakespeare. As has been rumored, Shakespeare's in a tomb in England, and you need special permission from the Queen to open it up, but that's what he wants to do. You know, love him or hate him, he is an interesting guy for sure. Good job.